Okay, my name is Jordan Lim. First, we take drug is not we love it. It's curious that you know something is new. That's called us to have a first try. And after try will never end. But after I understand that the drawer, that words I can't stop because I will find things to cover. You know, those days have a lot of opium can we control our suffering, pain and this and that. Back pain, the knee gap is pain and uh, I, I, I don't know how to imagine that. You know, express that, you know, the, the kind of suffering, you know, that's how that we will never end because, you know, only drug can make us normal. I think normally we are lazy to work and normally we will think that you know without drug we can't work and with drug we are also lazy to work that's why we need money you know to buy drugs and if they need money they will go and steal go and cheat all this kind of nonsense thing coming out that's why the societies uh, afraid of them is very common yeah actually the most suffering it's not really drugs. My family don't, don't want to talk to me, reject me. The most suffering is my friend all reject me. Nobody talk to you. You can't find a friend to release, to share your sorrow to them. And that kind of suffering, that's the worst. I find that life is uh, hopeless useless and helpless and friendless this four thing is called me life is the you know i want to end up my life i try to use a lot of ways to struggle and uh, of course one time I was almost arrested by police and uh, i against them and uh, i run under the flag on the top of the flag almost want to jump down and that was the time I asked God that why I cannot end up this way. I just want to have a, a simple life and people, you know, work nine to five. But how come I end up? I realized that, you know, freedom is our heart and we've got in God there's freedom. That's how I, after that, I go to halfway house. Drug is never end. Until one day you die, that's called finish. Otherwise, whole life you are struggling. The last time I came out from prison, that was year 91. I still backslide on uh, year 93. I backslide. When I came out from halfway house, people condemn, condemn me. Also, my families, my brothers was in prison. I need to bring money back to support them. And uh, I'm suffering. One day, I only can allow to take one meal. Once you, once you overcome, you don't expect that people accept you. First of all, you must accept yourself. How much you hurt the society, the family, you must be do how much to them to recover that kind of relationship. Yeah. That's I'm very patient and uh, wait and wait and walk my life and until today everything is go back again. Very good relationship. God has reached out to me using somebody to touch my life. It's one of the counselor of volunteers. He's my mentor. When time is good, I will laugh together with him when time is bad he will hear my cry and time of struggle he will help me go through a struggle that's my mentor that's my mentor in fact i enjoy serving in the prison ministry i've been volunteering in Jinchen 19 years as a volunteer i conduct bible studies and a chapel service also and i see People coming out, their life transformed, they do it very well. That the thing that encouraged me a lot. The tough one when you see some of the residents go out or image go out, 
and uh, they end up their life, they commit suicide. That's a very poor thing. Yeah, that's the thing that really break my heart. I encounter <sighs> some image and my residents commit suicide. Uh, not with how much we do learn, is they how much they want to learn. If they don't learn, how much we do also useless. That's how I say that always, it's not we help, they need to give themselves a chance. They must know that they need help. The old environment will cause you backslide. We need to show him the new environment you make you enjoy, make you beautiful. A choice for us to choose whether we want to make things beautiful or we want to make things darkness. Humans are curious of things, new things. But we need to understand the thing, the danger of the thing. If the danger of things, you know, is very danger will harm you, please don't try. Don't try, because we are human, I know we are very curious of new things. If things that danger, don't try. If you try, it will never end. If you don't take drugs, you still got other things, because life is suffering, a lot of things cause us suffering. Because in the world, you are not on drugs, you will be, be a gambler. You are not a gambler, you are alcohol. I would like to say that, you know, in my life of memory, make my mother suffering in so many years. After I recovered, overcome, so I remember my mother was almost died. And I see my life, he called me, son, can you help mommy? I give my mother a kiss. And my mother was so happy in her life and uh, she died in very peaceful. And that is make me enjoy, yeah, in my life. Time is short. The most regret is I married, I bought a new house. My mom have no chance to enjoy. Yeah, that's, I'm regret. So encourage, we whole life are regret, but please don't repeat the regret. I always in my life, I tell my, myself because tomorrow will be better than today. And it motivates me to push forward and forward. I know God is ahead of me. He will give me the best. And I press under today, I thank God, it's really best. I married, I have a granddaughter that I love the most. Uh, in, in my life, I always think of her. <laughs> yeah, so that, 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 that's my life, yeah.